hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel today's topic is creating first name and last name from full name in sas every problem can be solved by more than one way and in here i am discussing just one way of solving this problem and also keep in mind i am only discussing few scenarios and there could be many more scenarios of the similar problem which i am going to discuss for this topic we need to understand two functions the first one is count w and the second one is scan count w function counts the words in a string separated by a delimiter or separator within a boundary whereas scan splits the word by delimiter within a boundary and is generally represented as scan variable name comma n comma delimiter where n is the position of delimiter here the boundary is equal to starting or end of the string till now we have just try to understand the definitions let us try to understand this better with an example in this example we are creating a data set as shown in here and then we are applying our count w function and scan function here first let us look into the count w function the count w function is simple wherein we just say count w and the variable name on which we want to do the count w and the delimiter here so if you see here there are four words which are there within the delimiters so as i set the boundary as the beginning and start so the boundary starts here and we have 1 2 3 4 and boundary ends here we have four words in our string and in the same fashion we can also try to understand the scan function so let us see in here so we are creating a new variable first word equal to scan and the variable name followed by comma followed by one comma delimiter so whenever we give a positive number it starts from the beginning of boundary that is from in here and it splits the first word till we see the first delimiter so this will have this as our first word my name is mit john will have my as first word for second word it starts with the first position that is from the first delimiter and then goes till second delimiter and it extracts the second word in here in the similar fashion if we give minus 1 it starts from left that is in this example the string value is this is my cat it starts from end of the string whenever we give minus 1 and it goes till the first delimiter from left and it extracts cat and you can see here the last word is cat and in the same fashion when the string value is my name is smith john it again starts from the end of the string when we have given minus 1 and it goes till first delimiter from the left and it extracts john now that we have seen count w and scan function now let us try to simplify this whole thing so here we have given delimiters as the blank space blank space is one of default delimiter so we need not mention it and we can simplify something like this so if you want to extract the first word all we need to tell is scan string comma 1 for second word we can simply use scan 
in parenthesis string comma two. If it is the last word, we can simply say scan string comma minus one. We can do the same thing for count w function also. All we need to do is count w function, and in the parenthesis we can mention string. Now let us see how we can use this knowledge to extract first and last name. Here we have data set with first name and last name, and also other records in which we have first name, middle name, and last name, and also first name, middle initial, and last name. By using the scan function, we can easily take out the first name and last name. For first name, all we need to do is scan name comma one. This will pull out the first word, and then we get our first name. And last name is also again very easy. All we need to do is scan name comma minus one. This will pull. as the last name very easily so this is a straight forward scenario and we can directly apply what we have learned before now let us look into second scenario second scenario is also very similar to first scenario with one change that is when the name has only one word and that is first name see here the first three rows are very similar to what we have discussed where the names has first name last name first name middle name and last name but we have one of the row where we only have first name so from earlier slides it is pretty clear that extracting first name and last name when we have first name last name first name middle name and last name is pretty straight forward and it can be done by simply using scan function and by doing scan name comma 1 to get first name scan name comma minus 1 for last name but let's focus on the last row where we have only one word and that is first name what happens in that kind of scenario so when we apply f name scan name my name comma 1 it starts from the right and then it moves till the boundary that is end so it starts from right and then it moves till the end that is boundary and it pulls gil and it put puts the gil as first name now if we say l name equal to scan name comma minus 1 what it is going to do is it is going to start at the end and it will move towards left that is till the beginning of the string and it again pulls gil so here our first name and last name are same and this is what we don't want and we only want our first name to be gil and our last name to be missing now let us see what we have to do in here we are going to make two changes that is we are going to use our count w function which we have discussed in the beginning and also we are going to do a conditional scan now let's look into the code to understand it better for f name it is straight forward all we need to do is scan name comma 1 what previously we have been doing and for last name we are going to say if count w name greater than 1 then last name equal to scan name comma minus 1 what this conditional statement is going to do is whenever there is more than one word then only it's going to do the l name then only it's going to extract l name in first three scenarios we have more than one word so this will do l name equal to scan name comma minus 1 whereas in the case of the last row we have only one word 
so we are not going to do any scan and our last name will be null that's all for this topic if you have liked this topic please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe thank you